Uh, today's environment um, in both the public and private markets uh, could be described as uh, frothy, if I was to be kind. Um, and there's all kinds of uh, kind of craziness and, and people are kind of scratching their head as to what's going on. Um, you've got experience with uh, public and private companies. How do you think about you know, when a private company should go public, when they should stay private, when they should stay family owned versus take on investors? Like, just how do you think about navigating what I'll call the capital markets and, and kind of governance of public and private companies? Is there some framework that you would use to, uh, to think through that if you were an executive today? Both have pros and cons. I, I'm ambivalent about the answer to that. I, I think having a public company is a great tool with the stock options to be able to attract and retain and be able to punch above your weight if you've got a growth company. That's a huge advantage. Uh, by the same token, uh, when their uh, quarterly earnings can be a terrible um, tight noose around your neck. And, and uh, when you really have to make some longer term investments and wait in an environment that historically had been maximized shareholder return and with lots of opportunity as the uh, private equity uh, buyout funds that are looking for act or activist shareholders that are looking for that opportunity can step in. So you have the issue of control. So on the one hand, there are tremendous advantages of public ownership, in my view. And, and by the same token, there are some disadvantages. Uh, if I were to do it again, if I could have and not had to sell the business in order to equitize my father's uh, holdings and, and, uh, and not have the company sold, uh, we didn't need a lot of capital. Uh, I would have invented phantom stock options to replicate those of a public company, and I would have stayed private. Yeah, and, and it's really interesting, I think, today, too, when um, the equation almost changes or, or the evaluation, uh, when the public markets will just be so disjointed, it seems like, from kind of traditional multiples and things like that. Uh, it's almost as if the financial incentive becomes greater to, for people to get into the public market. But I recently had a, a gentleman on. He's been the CEO of a company for uh, – it's publicly traded for 22 years. And what he said to me was, uh, once you're in the public markets, it's really hard to go back. You can go back, but you're, you're pretty much a public company. And so you have to understand it's not just about the short-term decision-making. You know, you're completely changing the way that you're going to govern this business and, and kind of make decisions. Uh, and do you want to sign up for that or not? In my case, you know, I broke the 35 years into six distinct eras. The first five years, we were magical. We made little mistakes. We moved. From, from success to success. The second five years, once we were a publicly owned company, that success became a terrible impediment to future success. We were growing the first five years at 50% compounded. I basically changed the mission and objectives now as a public company to try to maintain that frothy price. We were trading at 60, 70 times earnings. We were back in the late 60s, uh, akin uh, most food service franchising businesses, or akin to what you see in high tech businesses today in terms of the darling of Wall Street. Lost my way, changed the mission, and tried to maintain an unrealistic objective in terms of maintaining share price and almost drove the company off a cliff. That's when I learned the importance of strategy and how important it is if you're aiming at the wrong target, uh, the kind of cataclysmic result that that can create. And how, as the leader, you can take a whole team and franchisees and everybody along with you. A lesson I never forgot and implied it in the next four eras, five years each. Never look back again. But that is the seduction of a public ownership. You know, it was hard to put a, 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 a wise head on a 30-year-old body that had enjoyed an immense amount of success. It was a real problem. Uh, I got fired, um, had to talk my way back in. We had realized the error of our ways. And I said, give me another quarter. And the board luckily did. And, but we had to learn a lesson. It was a tough, tough lesson, a tough five years.